Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Tech, and in today's video, I am going to be sharing a hidden feature for your Samsung Galaxy smartphones camera. So let's dive in and get started. So let me launch the camera real quick, okay? Now this feature has to do with the super slow motion option, which is gonna be right here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna record an actual video, a super slow motion video, and then I'm gonna show you the trick. So let's record the video real quick. All right, so the very first thing you wanna do is you wanna launch the camera, and once I'm in the camera, I'm gonna go over to more, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick the super slow motion option. You tap on that one, and now what I'm gonna do is I am going to record a super slow motion video. So I'm gonna tap on that record button, all right? And it should record immediately. There we go, we are done. It says saving the video. This may take a few seconds. Let's wait for that to complete. All right, so it's done, it's been saved. And as you can see, I'm just gonna quickly play it back here. Then I'm gonna show you the actual trick. So that's just a video playback. Look at how slow it has become. The real speed of this fan is crazy. That's the actual speed of the phone, but with the 960 frames per second, it becomes very slow. All right, so let me go into my gallery. I'm gonna pull that clip that I just recorded. It's gonna be right here. That's a super slow motion clip. Again, when you play this, basically it plays the fan at super slow speeds, and that's great, everybody knows about that. Now what a lot of people don't know is if you pull this up, you get access to an additional menu. But with the super slow motion, you can pull this up one more time, and at the bottom you get three different options, okay? And those options allow you to modify your super slow clips, as you can see. You can play them forward, you can play them reverse of what you recorded, or you can do a forward and reverse combination. So this is, this is the usual one here, that's the forward. Let me tap on it, okay? So that's exactly what the forward is, okay? It is recording the usual movement, which is like this. And then what we can do is if I tap on this one, I can do a reverse movement. That's the same video, but now it's, going to, it's playing it in, in reverse, okay? And also, if I go over here, I got the forward and reverse, so this combines forward and reverse and gives you a nice little effect. Now this here is a really boring example with the fan, but you can actually use this to do some really creative effects if you so desire. What you should do is you should go out in bright daylight because you do need a lot of natural light to use a super slow motion option. It requires a lot of natural light and try something crazy and then do forward, reverse, and the combination, and I think you're gonna love it. Now, one more thing you can do here is, when I tapped on this one and it came forward, you also tap on this arrow here that is a forward arrow. If you tap it, it goes to the reverse. If you tap it again, it also gives you the forward-reverse combination. So that arrow is interactable, all right? All right, guys, for now, have a fantastic day. All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech, by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.